Weezy out here. Weezy out here. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Smooth, and you already know what's happening. Hey, man, I'm here live with y'all at Walmart. It's people around me and shit, so it's a little awkward, but listen, I'm finna show y'all exactly what products to get, man, to grow y'all beer. All right, listen, man. First thing first, listen, I'm gonna insert some pictures to where I first started at. This is a major key. If you just starting out, you just starting out, you really got like a little, you got patches everywhere. Or you got like little hairs growing around your face, but they didn't like not connect them then. This is what you want to do first. All right, first thing first, you want to get some biotin. Either one of these work, the 5,000, the 1,000, 10,000. Personally, I would go with the 5,000 and just take two every day. But this is key, bro, because this is what this is going to do is help your hairs fill in. They're going to grow thicker. So right now, you got them patches. Take like two of these every day. Make sure you're drinking a lot of water with it, because that's going to help your shit grow, grow and thick. So yeah, make sure you take your biotin. It's gonna say take one a day, but if you got the 5,000, take two a day. Like take two in every morning, just to do it like that. And drink water with it, cause that's gonna help your shit come in. Like, for real though. Cause I know you probably start, like I'm insert pictures, you probably gonna start off with a whole bunch of like patches everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Or like hairs might grow right here, might be not growing right here. But the biotin is gonna tell you it's gonna make it grow, so. And it's like, it ain't nothing that's gonna happen overnight. So you just gotta stay consistent. Stay consistent with uh, taking your biotin. I promise you're gonna see results. Next, what you wanna get is some beer oil. It don't really matter the brand. As long as some beer oil or, co it don't even have to be beer oil. Coconut oil works good. Um, like any coconut oil. Let's see. But this is the brand I would get. I should have this one and this one. I have both of those, so any. So yeah, any brand, any brand will. And after you get the beer oil, once you get the beer oil, I just chose this one. So once you get the beer oil, make sure you put this shit on. Once you get the beer oil, this the one I got. Make sure, once you get it, make sure you put it on every morning and every night. Cause you want to keep your face, your beard moisturized. That's how you gonna grow like. I don't know if you ever like try to grow your hair out, like grow dreads, but you gotta keep your hair moisturized. That's the only way it's gonna grow. Same way for your beard. So if you, even if you got like little patches, I know, trust me, I've been through it. Trust me. Even if you got little patches, keep the beard on, keep the beard oil on there so keep it moisturized so your hair can grow like healthy. You know what I'm saying? You don't wanna if your beard constantly dry, it's always dry, it's not gonna grow healthy. You're gonna grow with split ends and all that. So make sure you get some beard oil, keep it moisturized. And this next step is for when the next step is for when your beard start to get a little girth to it, get a little thickness, you know what I'm saying? When it get dark a little bit, when you can actually comb it. This is what this next thing is for. After your beard starts to get thick a little bit, where you can actually comb it, instead of stra uh, straight brushing it, you can comb it a little bit, you want to invest in some beard balm. What this is going to do is make it look fuller. This is more for the look rather than for the growth. So once it starts getting uh, like a little full, get you some beard balm. It's going to help it look darker and more fuller. And also, it's like moisturizing, so it's going to keep your beard moisturized. And it's not as oily as beer oil. So if you gotta go somewhere, but you want some moisturizer on your face, you gonna throw your beer bone in there and comb it. It's gonna keep your beer soft. It's gonna smell good. So yeah. So beer. So first, first you get the biotin. And you just starting off. After that, you wanna get the beer oil. Keep your face moisturized. Trust me. After that, after it start growing a little bit, so I'm gonna give you about a month or two. After like two months, you start seeing some progress. Or a month. You wanna get some beer bone and get you a comb. Now the comb is also key. And also, I'm gonna show you how to put all this stuff on because I actually need some. I actually need some new beer oil and some new beer bone because I, I just ran out. Now, this is the comb I got right here. Let me show y'all. This wooden comb is key, bro. Do not use no plastic comb. Use a plastic comb, it's gonna give you a whole bunch of split ends. You don't want that. Especially starting out because it's all about how you train your hair. And this wooden comb is gonna spread the oil or the moisturizer you use naturally. It's gonna spread it like throughout your beard, your whole beard. It's not gonna leave like a lot of dry spots. So make sure you get a wooden comb. They ain't number like five or six dollars at Walmart. If I can, if they got them, usually they be sold out. But if they got them, I'll show y'all what they look like and where they get them from. This area is usually where you find them. And here they go right here, $10 beer comb. And they, they don't want no for 
price. I promise you it's worth it though. They got different colors. They got like light brown. I got a dark brown. But yeah, invest in. Yeah, make sure you invest in a beer cone. I'm telling you, it's key, bro. Especially having your, your beard grow naturally. Not naturally. Having your beard grow healthy is common. Because really too much of comb. Just get you any brush, bro. Any wave brush, it don't really matter. You feel me? You don't want a hard brush. Make sure it's soft, though. Because it's hard, it's going to brush your... You're going to brush your progress out. So you want a soft brush. Any wave brush will work. You feel me? Yes, sir. I'm done telling y'all what to get. Now I'm finna show y'all what actually I use. So I don't really need no beer oil. So what I do need is a beer balm though. So I'm gonna get some beer balm. And I slip want some beer oil, but I'm not trying to pay for the oil though. If I do get some oil, it'll be some coconut oil though. Where's the coconut oil that I had? Cause that shit worked good. I don't see it here though. I don't see it here, bro. This cashew oil right here, Jamaican cashew oil, this works good. Like when I first started growing my beard, this is exactly what I use. I use the coconut one, I don't see the coconut one, but the original one worked too. That's, that's some good stuff right there. Any oil, bro, any oils you see right here, it's gonna be good, because most of them are natural. And especially if it got coconut oil in it, it's gonna help your junk, bro. Trust me. All right, I don't see, I don't see the oil that I use, so. I'm just gonna go with something a little different, probably. You know what? I might just stick with the phone and just use the oil I got. A little bit left. Yeah. Hi, YouTube. I'm finally back at the crib. You feel me? First thing first, what you wanna do? Listen, this gonna be your routine for every night, every morning, or if you just, or like during the day, if your beard feel dry or something, this is what you wanna do, bro. First thing first, you wanna get your comb. Your wooden comb, you wanna comb it out, bro. Comb it out. I might look crazy right now because I ain't combing that guy in a minute, but. Yes, yeah, sir. Comb that guy. Ow, 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 ow. Comb it all the way out. Ain't my jungle looking long. <laughs> Alright, so after you got it combed out, first thing first, what you wanna do is apply your oil. And by the way, this is the oil I end up getting. I never had it before, bro. I just said, I'm gonna try something different just to see. But with the oil, you will only wanna pour a little bit. You don't want a lot, bro. Or she's gonna be looking like an elementary student. You, your face gonna be greasy. So just get a little bit. My slit got too much, but get a little bit, rub it in. Make sure you rub it through. Rub it through. Bro, this y'all smell good, bro. I, ain't, I don't know how it's gonna work yet, but this stuff smell good. If y'all wanna try Olive Miracle, at Walmart, it's only like $2. It should smell good. But yeah, rub it in, rub it all the way in. Just like that. Alright. After that, you want to comb it again. So, when you when you comb it with the winter comb, it's really clutch. Because it really like help spread the oil evenly throughout your beard. You feel me? So, that's really clutch. So after you finish rubbing the oil in, comb it again. Out. And then, last but not least, if you got any moisturizer, use moisturizer. This is for like if you're going out somewhere, like the beard bones for if you're going out somewhere. It's gonna help your beard look thicker and more defined, you feel me? But if you got moisturizer, put that on every night, like any type of moisturizer. Like for a while I was using this shit, but this is some leave-in conditioner and let me show you something else I was using. All right, look, this moisturizer right here, Pure Oils, leave-in moisturizer, bro, I'm telling you, it's gonna, get, it's gonna make your jump feel good. But anyway, if you got some beard balm, like I said, I told you to get, after you comb it, uh, got all your oil in, you want to get a little bit of, a little bit of this. Look, that's all I got, bro. You don't want to put too much. Like like I said, bro, if you put too much, you're going to be looking like an elementary student. Your, your face going to be greasy. But this stuff's not as greasy as the oil, obviously, because it's not oil, but you still don't want to put too much. So, you want to rub that in your beard. And this going to make your tongue feel soft, bro. My shit feels soft now. And it smell good. It smell like what is this shit? This smell like yeah, shea butter. It smell like shea butter. Oh, this smell good though. So you gonna rub that all the way in. Make sure you rub it in pretty good. You know what I'm saying? After you did that, comb it out. Boom. And you wanna do this every night. And I promise you gonna see some sort of progress. If you do everything I told you in this video, you are gonna see some type of progress. I promise you. All right, man. 
Alright, look, that's it for the video. If you like the video, make sure you leave a like for your boy. Comment what you want to see next. If this video help you out, leave a like for me. Subscribe. Help me get to 200 subs. Thanks for watching the video. I'm out. Peace.